All right, this is take two. Uh, the first time I did this, the video, was, or not the video, the audio was corrupted, and so you couldn't really hear anything about what I was talking about. So yesterday, after mounting the engine and getting the chain on it to the uh, torque converter and everything, um, we were unable to tension it properly. Essentially, it was too loose or just too tight. Because this back axle was fixed, I didn't have a way to adjust it, so I spent a good chunk of the day um, working on this design. I cut off the old motor mount. It's kind of hard to see because it's dark in here. If you look very carefully, you see the second ridge up here. That's the old motor mount sitting on top of a new motor mount. And essentially what I did, if you look down underneath, it's really hard to see. Um, this new motor mount on the bottom here has a nice big hole cut in it. And coming off of the old motor mount through there are a couple of flanges. And these uh, flanges come down and connect to that three-quarter inch nut. They're welded to that, which is basically threaded onto a three-quarter inch rod. And this is a jam nut right behind it um, to use when I want to. Um, on either end of this, right up here, right back here, it's just some DOM tubing. And what I have set up is on the end of this rod I put another three-quarter inch nut and drilled a hole through it put a pin in it that's in case I ever need to take it apart and uh, you know maintenance or whatever I don't know um, on the other side I had another three-quarter inch nut and uh, I welded that one on um, I'm gonna clean up some of these little holes that I have from the threads but essentially what happens is um, if you go ahead and turn this left, the motor will be pulled up that direction and it'll allow us to tension the chain. Um, I believe I cut two and five eighths inch slots um, in that bottom motor mount, so that's the amount of tension I have. I figured that I need about two and a half inches um, maximum uh, based on my, I think this is a size 40 chain, um, so between two links, it's about I don't know, two, two and a half inches. So I gave myself just a little extra room um, to adjust this. And right now, I mean, I've got this thing tensioned just about right and, and it's sitting sitting back almost all the way. Um, as the chain stretches, what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and loosen up the, the mounting nuts here and bolts and uh, just go ahead and rotate this to the left. It'll tighten up the chain to whatever I want to. Tighten those back down, retighten the jam nut if necessary, and uh, it'll, I mean it works well. So I'm, I'm actually quite pleased with it. Now, just if you want to hear the motor run, I don't have the battery hooked up, so I have to pull start it. Back wheels do wobble a bit on that axle. I think that uh, I may need to take the tires off and go get them balanced, but uh, we'll see how fast it goes here soon, hopefully.